Alright guys, Matt the Sasquatch here. Welcome to, I'm going to call this part two of reviewing Boost and just kind of figuring out what Boost is the best, um, what's going to be the best deal and just kind of start com comparing them. But before we get into anything of, of this, Thank you, Samuel Wong. Um, I had actually re-recorded, and I still have it, um, and un and and un unboxing of these. Um, but I didn't like how it how 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 it just uh, came out. So so the so the story behind this pair here is that Samuel Wong's college a uh, roommate had left a a ton of stuff. Just, just in the um, uh, uh, um, dorm room, and he basically told him to trash these. So instead of trashing them, Sam contacted me, said, "Hey, do you uh, want these?" I said, "Sure, I, I will take them." So thank you, Sam Wong, for for basically a, a free pair of shoes. Well, it is a free pair of, 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 of shoes. Go check him out on Snups. I will link him right down uh, 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 below. He is an he is an awesome user, and he also does sell a lot. And if he sent me a free pair uh, of, of shoes, just just out of the, the just out of the, the pure love and and heart, then I would definitely trust buying from him. So now that you know why and how I got these. This is actually a Pure Boost ZG. For for the ZG means zero gravity. And it's an interesting name for the type of shoe it is. So where do I start? You know what? I'm just gonna put this this out there at, at first. So that way there is absolutely no confusion whatsoever. Out of the three different types of boost that I have here, but two technically, de technically different types of, of NMD boost, Yeezy boost is still by far the comfiest out. Yes, it's still the comfiest. The NMDs, are still extremely comfy. They're they're not they're they're not easy uh, comfy, but they are so extremely comfy. And I would give these my number two overall uh, a, a rating. Ultra Boost I still do not have. I hope to pick up a pair one day, and then I will then I will do a complete comparison review type thing of just everything. That I have because because then that would give me the Yeezys, the NMDs, the the Pure Boost, and then the Ultra Boost. But then we've got. I'm gonna really put the Pure Boost as a complete dead last. Now, the Pure Boost is interesting from every. Else and those will come back. Just want to focus right now on, on this. The zero gravity part is interesting. I'm not sure the name really fits somewhat the sh the shoe because when because when I think of zero gravity, I think of being weightless of 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 basically basically you don't feel a thing. Now weight wise, these are extremely light. I might consider these on the more lightest side of of everything that I have here. They might be a little bit lighter than Yeezys, but I would I would say the NMDs are still just a little bit lighter than these. The, the Yeezys, okay, yeah, these are definitely uh, lighter, 
but compared to the NMDs, the NMDs are actually a little bit lighter yet. So, so weight-wise, these definitely beat the, the Yeezys, and I can see where the zero gravity name comes from that. But but the issue that I hate that I have with the with the Pure Boost ZGs. I don't know about about normal Pure Boost, but I'm assuming it's going to all be about the about the same ish in, in 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 comfort. I'm reading these in comfort wise between Boost at the bottom. Now what's weird is that I can physically feel the boost the boost pressure on my heel when I walk on on, on, on Yeezys here when I walk down I, I do feel a, a, a pressure but it's nice it is pleasant it's kind of like walking on a let's say a pillow when I wear NMDs. Maybe you're walking on a, a very soft mattress, which it will be a tad bit more firm and, and harder than a, a pillow, but it's still very soft. This It would kind of be like maybe if you put put the material of carpet and everything underneath of the the, the carpet that, that makes carpet decently soft into a shoe. It just like I'm not saying it feels bad. It feels different and slightly odd. Like it it's almost like a mind trick because this is boost but it doesn't feel like like boost but there is a benefit for having this boost be more hard more firm because the the pure boost line they're not necessarily going for the comfort, but they're still trying to to, to give you a, a boost, a comfort in a 100% runner's runner's shoe, or for or for something like trails or hiking, like. This is definitely a shoe that when I go to Gatlinburg later on this year, I will take this because because the one thing that this that the Pure Boost does very well that the NMDs and the Yeezys don't do as well is lockdown and and giving your, giving your foot. The sensation that it is that it is secure within the shoe. Like I like I feel perfectly perfectly safe um, hiking or 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 like um, um um running in these, and my ankle will not roll. But in these three shoes here, and this should be very, very obvious. If I tried to run or go hiking in, in these, there's a very high chance that I might roll an, an, an ankle in these because, I mean, that's not really 
definitely a a a, a, a supportive feel. I mean, that just crumbles some. This crumbles even more than this. It's just well, the the prime knit. The, the, the easy, I would definitely feel more comfortable than the NMDs, like MDs, like hiking or running. But because the Yeezys are Yeezys, I would never con I would never consider either of those options at all. So this is where the the there we go the Pure Boost comes in because this is a boost shoe that I am not going to care if it gets a dirty or messed up even though I just the the other day cleaned these I'm not I'm, I'm not going to, to to care if this all becomes brown or green I won't care because this, this is what I would would call a beater pair of Boost. These are more nice pairs. They're more luxury pairs. Like, like right here, it is your hmm, your party shoe, your 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 dinner date date shoe. These would be of more your 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 casual every, every day maybe I'm gonna go hit up the mall shoe. And then you've got these with which oh I'm gonna go run ten plus 10 plus of miles and then I'm going to go hiking. Boost. I am extremely happy that Adidas made such a nice tech technology and I'm very happy that they have put it in, in into different styles of shoes for different purposes. But just now looking at looking at these, look at how thick that boost is. Look at how thick that is. It's almost like there's not even boost there. This almost re this almost reminds me of like maybe an a, an Adidas. Dan Smith, Smith, um, outsole, midsole, um, uh, um, width, almost. There's just, it's just not there. But I can see why they would do something thing like that. Now I didn't plan on on doing this as well. But let me grab something that's not boost. This is my other pair. Nope. Oh, sorry, the, the camera just shook. This is my other pair of of like hiking shoes, my my beater shoes that if they turn brown or green, they're they're already green, but if they turn more green. I'm not going to to care. So so ASICs gel light threes which surprisingly a66 makes very comfy shoes and they're really cheap like you can let's see here a6 gel light three let's see how much a pair of these cost brand new just brand new. Okay, let's go to 
finishline.com. Okay, you can get right now gel light gel gel light threes for for basically under seventy dollars. There is even a, a pair and, and they've only got got an eight and, and, and a nine left for fifty dollars. This is a hundred and twenty. So there is basically around a a an eighty to one hundred dollar price price um um difference. And to be honest, comfort wise. They're they're both very close. If you've seen one of my previous uh, videos before, I forget which one it 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 is. You know, it might have been no, it was in my my boost end game video that came out like two months. That came out like like two months back, and I talked about the concept of basically price to comfort ratio. Is it worth the extra almost one hundred dollars for for pure boost? For hiking, skiing, and running purposes. No. I would. I I rather buy these, and then maybe get myself some some very nice um 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 track pants track a shorts or just or just save the the extra money but that's still your choice on if you want want pure boost because it's got boost it's got the boost name blah 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 or are you looking to save save a, a money and, and 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 get these here get these which have a very very close comfort to these now some people might call me 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 on that because this because this ain't boost and, and boost is so so, so Boost is so, so superior. That is true. Boost is very superior when it's like that thick. I mean, that is just thick. Thick. This is not thick. It's not, it's not that thick. I would argue, I would 100% argue that the midsole on these is, it is bigger than these. But I will give the Pure Boost one good thing that this or those down there do not have. I like these for two things. One, lockdown support is fantastic. Like, you can't crush that. There's, there's actual maybe 
plastic plates up, up back here that prevent this this from crushing in but it but it also gives you support on top of that you've got support right there and here and here it is very so supportive but but what this does that that I kind of no uh, that I kind of like it that anything over there down there does not do is you get a you kind of get a bounce in your walk what does that mean it it it, it means that that when you walk and you come down the shoe kind of helps you pick back up your your leg it's weird and it and not everyone might get that when when wearing these but I do I kind of feel that that it just somewhat um, bounces and it just kind of and it just kind of helps and that's why I will love these for 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 like walking hiking doing maybe doing yard work maybe mowing the grass blah 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 but going back to the original argument here of what is the comfiest boost Yeezys are still number one and um, NMDs um, R1 eh, eh, XR1 probably probably the the other NMD iterations are, are gonna are gonna all basically be the same I'm gonna make the argument now that ultra boost is comfier than pure boost just because I I have seen ultra boost at least in person and then the boost is definitely by far larger then pure boost I'm gonna say dead last just dead last but that doesn't mean it's not not comfy double negative makes a positive whatever but this is still a good shoe now I might occasionally wear this casual casually but not as much so I do hope that you all enjoy this let me know your thoughts on on this per se debate and the and the next I'm gonna say volume of, volume of this that you see will be when when there is a pure boost no not pure boost and ultra boost right here and then I will have have basically every type of, of of boost shoe I'm not going to to count the 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 basketball or golf shoes um, that shoes that, that that have boost I'm just checking right now to see if there's anything else so, so, so it's Pure Boost, NMD, Ultra Boost. Huh, 
So apparently they still have the Ultra Boost un, un uncaged time um, parley. So Ultra Boost will come. And let me just take a look as well, just at a basic Pure Boost non-zero gravity. You know, a normal Pure Boost might have a little bit more boost than this. But I think the comfort is going to be about the same. So I will try to, to, to get my hands sometime this year on an, 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 an ultra boost, uh, a, a caged, caged, uncaged, I don't, I don't care. I'm just, I'm just going to go for the pair that I like the most. And then, and then that comparison will come out and and then we can have the ultimate discussion of boost. Oh my gosh, boost, boost. Again, just, just thank you all for, for, for watching. And, and once again, Samuel Wong, thank you for these. I love them. So make sure to follow me everywhere on the internet.